Since the COVID-19 pandemic began to hit the financial markets hard in late February, some traders have found it difficult to make money on options trades because the price swings of the underlying assets from which those options are derived have been so radical that some traders struggle with how to manage risk on their trades without getting run over in the process. I'm the head trader of SMB Capital's Options Trading Desk here in Manhattan, and the traders on our desk have learned through education and experience that if you manage the risks on your trades, you have the best shot at making profitable trades, whereas if you ignore risk management, you can turn a really terrific winning trade into a frustrating loser. So if you're interested in a vivid example of how proper risk management can turn a potential catastrophe into a very high return win, then stick around because you'll learn something really important by watching how we handle things. Hi, I'm Seth Freiberg, and I'm the head trader of SMB Capital's Options Trading Desk. SMB Capital is a proprietary trading firm located in Midtown Manhattan, and we provide capital for options and equity traders from all over the world trading both remotely and in our offices here in New York City. Now, I'd like to suggest that you click on our subscribe button right now so that you don't miss any of our free trading videos that we produce for traders and investors all over the world. They're really very valuable. Okay, so in previous videos, we've talked about how in the midst of this pandemic that we're working through right now, the financial markets have gone completely bonkers because of the uncertainty surrounding how much damage this has done to the economy, how the Fed and the federal government have responded to this and its long-term implications, which companies will survive this revenue disaster, which ones have been irreparably harmed, and many, many other considerations. And as a result, the markets have been gyrating around at first, selling off dramatically with multiple limit down days on the open, followed by a breathtaking rally in which the markets retook most of their losses. And all this happened in less than four months. So in previous videos, we talked about how markets like these create tremendous opportunities for options traders, but at the same time, that reality comes with a warning, which is that if the trader is not disciplined and intelligent in their trading choices, and particularly in their risk management, what can be a great opportunity for profit can be turned into a disaster. And the difference between a professional trader and a non-professional trader is risk management. Now, I'm about to show you a vivid example of that. So let's take a look at just such a great opportunity. And on March 12th, well, the market was in full panic mode, dropping huge percentages every day as the market was unable to measure the magnitude of the problems that could emerge out of the pandemic and was running away from equity risk until further notice. Now, in times like those, options prices become much higher than usual because the risk that options contract sellers are taking are much greater than normal. Now, before we delve into an example of one such opportunity, we need to make sure that everyone watching the video understands how options work and specifically how index options work. For those of you who understand index options, just hang in there. This will take a minute and then we'll just jump right back into the guts of the lesson. Okay, so now almost all of you are probably familiar with equity options, where a call buys you the right to buy 100 shares of a stock at the strike price of that option anytime before the option expires. And a put option entitles you to sell 100 shares of a stock at the strike price of the put before that option expires. But there are also index options, which work similarly to equity options, except there's no such thing as 100 shares of an index like the S&P 500. You can't really buy or sell 100 shares of an index, but what you can do is to get paid in cash, $100 per point if the index expires above the strike price of an index call that you buy, or alternatively, you'd be paid $100 per point for each point the index drops below the strike price of your index put. So for example, if an index is trading at 1400 and you buy the 1410 call, if the index goes to 1415, you'd receive $500 into your account. If the index closes at 14.10 or lower, your call expires worthless. On the other side of the ledger, if you buy a 13.85 put and the market sells off to 13.75, you'd make $1,000. But if the market just sold off to 13.85 or higher, the put would expire worthless. So those are the basics of index options. And remember, you can buy options, but your broker will also allow you to sell options. And your broker will allow you to put together combinations of options, in other words, option strategies that involve both short and long options purchased in a way that is advantageous to you as a trader. Now that we're clear on how index options work, let's head back to what was going on back on March 12th as the market was cratering 
literally cratering every day from the pandemic fears. So in this day, we could have taken a look at an options chain about 11 weeks out into the future, specifically the May 29th expiration. And you'll see that on that date, when the SPX index was trading at around 2,500, we could have gone up 500 points to the 3,000 call and sold three of those for $42.20. And then for protection, we could have gone up to the 3050 call and bought three of those call options for $31.99. After that, we could go down, this time 500 points to the SPX 2000 put and sell those, those three for $79.85. And then again, for protection, in case the whole world economy just unravels, we'll move down 50 more points to the SPX 1950 strike and buy three of those puts for $70.35. Now, this structure, selling a call way above the market price of the index and buying another call for protection above that, combined with selling a put way below the market and buying another put for protection below that, that entire structure is known as an iron condor to options traders. Now, we'll get to see how this works in a minute, but let's first look at the cash flow implications of what we've done here before moving further. So, Remember, we bought the 3050 call as protection for 31.99, and remember, each point below the strike price of the option is worth $100. So we multiply that cost by 100, and we bought three of those. So that represented a total cost of $9,597. Then we sold those 3,000 calls for $42.20 times 100 again, as we explained, and we sold three of those for a total cash received in our account of $12,660. Similarly, we sold those three puts, as you can see, which brought in $23,955, and we bought the protective 1950 puts for a total cash outlay of $2,105, which, when you net it all out, creates a cash inflow into our account of $5,000. $913. For reasons we can get into in another video, your broker will require you to have about $9,000 in your account for this trade. And that is the absolute most that you could lose on the trade. And so that is really the capital that we've dedicated to this trade. And we'll come back to that a little bit later. But for now, suffice it to say that we've received $5,913 in cash and we have a maximum risk on the trade of $9,087. And we'll work through the trade from there. I wanted to let you know that there really are sound, viable, long-term techniques for trading options for income. And in fact, we're currently running a two-hour free intensive workshop at the moment where we'll be teaching you three of those strategies that real professional options traders use, including a really simple but incredibly effective technique that some of the greatest investors in the world like Warren Buffett use all the time, plus an options trading strategy that has a statistical 80% probability of profit month in and month out, plus an option strategy that you can employ with a stock that you like where you'll make your target profit whether the stock goes up, goes nowhere, or even goes down a small percentage. So if those strategies would be of interest to you, then you should check out the free options class that we're currently running. Just go ahead and click the link that should be appearing now at the top right corner of your screen. That will open the free registration page in a new window. So don't worry, you won't lose this video. Or you can just head on over to optionsclass.com to register for this free intensive workshop. It's a rare opportunity for retail traders and investors to learn directly from Wall Street traders, but that's exactly what you'll be getting through this free online workshop. So click the link to sign up now and don't miss it. So now getting back to the trade, let's move forward to March 23rd. And as you can see, the market has now sold off even further just 11 days later, more than 300 points further, down to 2197. And so at this point, something very interesting has happened. The value of those 3,000 calls has now dropped to $5.65. And the value of the 3050 calls has dropped to $4.80. Now remember, just 11 days earlier, we bought the 3050 calls for a total cost of 95.97, and we sold the 3,000 calls for for a total cash flow of $12,660. So if you just focus on the call side of the trade, we received a little bit over $3,000 in cash just for that side of the trade. Well, if we take a look at the pricing on March 23rd, we realize that we have an opportunity to take a profit on the call side of this trade. 
Now, why do I say that? Well, let's take a look at what it would cost to close the call side of this iron condor. Well, to close it, we'll need to sell those 3050 calls, which were worth uh, $31.99 when we bought them, but have shrunk down now to $4.80. So we're only going to get $1,440 from those. On the other hand, those 3,000 calls that we received initially, uh, over $42 for, well, those are worth now $5.65. So we can buy those back and close the short calls for just $16.95, as you can see. So in other words, to close the call side of this trade, we don't have to pay $255, even though we had originally received over $3,000. Now, and this is really important, options traders have an important risk management practice that dictates that if one of the sides of an iron condor can be closed for 10% of its original value, then that opportunity should be taken. And so if we go ahead and do that, the profit from doing so is the original cash from selling that side of the iron condor minus the cost to close that side, which as you can see from the calculation is a net profit of a little over $2,800. Now, the importance of our doing this is going to come clear shortly. So now let's move to about a month later to April 24th. And as you can see, the market has begun its substantial bounce of 700 points since March 23rd, back up to the 2800 area. Now remember, we've closed the call side of this condor. And so now all that we've got left is the put side. And now with the market having bounced so hard, well, naturally the value of puts which only pay off if the market sells back off down 800 points or so to 2000. Well, those puts are going to lose a lot of value because by April 24th, there's now only 35 days left in those options. And an 800 point drop is a lot for 35 days, even in the middle of a pandemic. And so as you can see, the market has devalued those puts to a small fraction of what they were valued when we first bought them. And in fact, let's now look at the economics of the put side of the trade, which is the only side that is left on the trade at this point. And so originally, as you'll remember, we received 23,955 for selling those 2000 puts when the market was crashing while we bought the 1950s as protection for 21,105. Well, if you now reverse the put side of the transaction and close the puts, you'll see that we can buy back those three 2000 puts for 1293 and sell the three 1950s for 1050, netting you a cost of $243 to buy back or scalp, in other words, the put side of the trade and close the entire iron condor. Now let's take a look at what's happened here cash flow wise to understand how this trade was concluded so successfully. And it's pretty simple to understand. Way back in the beginning of the trade, we received a credit of $5,900 and it cost us a fraction of that, 255 for the call side and 243 for the put side to wind the trade up completely. And what that means is that the original $5,900 that we received, we get to just pocket that as our profit, less the $500 or so to scalp the call and put sides, as you can see, for a net profit of about $5,400. So in other words, by buying back the call and put sides of the transactions for less than 10% of what we originally received for them, we have used prudent options trading risk management to close a trade very successfully. In fact, if you think about it, the original capital that I had mentioned earlier of just $9,000, well, we made over $5,400 on that trade, yielding a return of 59% in 43 days on this trade. Now, as great as that return is, we haven't even made the most important point in this video, and that is this. Let's take a look at what would have happened had we not risk managed the trade and prudently scalped both the put side and the call side of the iron condor when the value of the individual sides of the trade had dropped to 10% of their original value. So to do that, let's pretend that we never scalped either side of the trade. And instead, we just let the 1000 point wide iron condor close on its own. Well, to do that, we'll need to move to expiration day and Lo and behold, on May 29th, the X SPX had continued to bounce from its March lows and it closed at 3044.30. So now let's take a look at how the trade would have come out had we not scalped it, just left it alone. And to do that, we first need to determine the value that each option settled on expiration. 
So you'll remember that the original condor yielded cash of 5,913. Now let's take a look at each individual option of the iron condor on settlement day. Well, the 3050 call would have expired with no value. The owner of that call, which is us, gets no value from that option because the SPX closed below that strike price. It closed at 3044. But that 3000 call that we sold, well, that one has turned into a major headache. So because SPX closed more than 44 points above its strike price, and we have to pay $100 for each of those points, and we sold three of those, if you do the math on that one, you actually have to pay out $13,290. And of course, the market is up over $3,000. So the puts at $2,000 in 1950 are completely worthless because they only pay off if the market closes below $2,000 on May 29th. And so if you do the math, we actually lost more on that one call, the 3,000, than we brought in on cash on the entire iron condor originally. And the whole trade ends up becoming a loser of $7,377 instead of the managed trade where we won $5,415. And so what is crucially important for you to understand from this video is the value of risk management on options trades. When the call side at first lost all of its value, there was no point to keeping it open and exposing it to the bounce, which ultimately occurred for the small amount of potential profit left in the trade. That allowed us to completely end risk on the upside of the trade, if you think about it. After all, the market will always eventually bounce, no matter how bad the situation gets, because all publicly traded companies become a value at some price, unless they go bankrupt, and the investors will respond to that like they have in, any, in, in every other case in history. So if you close the call side in the sell-off and wait for the bounce on the put side, you can scalp both sides and earn a wonderful return because you understood these principles. In other words, professional traders manage their trades, whereas traders who are not serious fail to take advantage of the scalping opportunities and turn fantastic winning trades into miserable losers for no reason at all, except that they are trading unprofessionally. So get a good solid education and trade like a pro and opportunities like these will come along for you all of the time. Now, just to remind you, as I said earlier, if you enjoyed this video and learned something valuable from it, would like to learn the details of three real world option strategies that professional options traders use all the time, then you should check out the free options class that we're currently running. Just go ahead and click the link that should be appearing now at the top right corner of your screen. That will open the free registration page in a new window so you won't lose this video. Don't worry. Or you can just head on over to optionsclass.com to register for this free intensive workshop. It really is a rare opportunity for retail traders and investors to learn directly from Wall Street traders, but that's exactly what you'll be getting through this free online workshop. So click the link to sign up now and don't miss it. And please don't forget to click on the subscribe button right now so you won't miss free trading videos that we're posting constantly on our channel to help you to improve your game as an options trader.